すべての邪悪流の頂点に立つ俺様の真の姿。All right, everybody, what is going on? We're hopping in here to the、uh, Omega versus Fusion Zamasu,、uh, you know, World Tour run here that we like to do. Now, we got some. God, what is this? What in the.、Uh, listen, we don't look gift horses or. Is it horses? Yeah, we don't look a gift horse in the mouse or in the mouth around here, so. Um, anyway, we're bringing Omega, you know, level 10 links,、uh, rainbow, all that good stuff. We actually have a friend. Now, this is like a dev friend, so they're like a weird 90% build, and they're not level 10 links, so I don't. Listen, I'll take it, though, because 90% is、uh, much better than, you know, like 55, right? So we'll, we'll take it. You know, for like a HP standpoint, it's better. From a, you know, defensive damage reduction unit standpoint, it's better, so. Um, anyway, we're hopping in here to Fusion Zamasu. Now, this is going to be tough. I mean, I don't think that we can even win,、uh, but I did bring items. I'm just going to try to get a win. If we can just get a win using items, I will feel pretty satisfied about that. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use Whis or a Ghost Usher,、uh, but I decided to go for the Ghost Usher because of Texan. I think Texan is one of the better GT bosses that you can actually bring.、Uh, but. He gets clobbered by AoEs. And I mean, in looking at this second rotation here, depending on where the AoE is, we will probably have to immediately use the Ghost Usher. So、um, I brought Physical Sin. I don't know why.、Um, you know, he does support. He is type advantage in this first phase. But、uh, this would have been LR Baby if LR Baby had EZ8 already. That's who this would be. So. Uh, and then probably if we had Rildo EZ8, I might replace either him or him. Probably him, because they'll actually be effective in the second phase. So, that, that's probably my thought process here. Now, we also have Physical Omega.、Uh, you guys, like, you guys know. Like, this, this guy's decent, but he shares the same name as the LR, so、uh, he's kind of relegated to slot three. And he also takes, what, like, ten attacks to build up? Seven. He takes seven attacks to build up his passive, which is、uh, not good. Is it super attacks or is it attacks? Hang on. Each attack performed. Okay, so that's good.、Uh, we need to do seven attacks. Like, I think max that we can get that to happen would be. Turn one, we could do three attacks. Turn two, we could do six. So then. Or, I'm sorry, one, three, five. So, like, turn five would be the soonest that we could get them fully built up.、Uh, so. It is what it is.、Uh, let's start out here. Let's just go ahead and grab these rainbow orbs for Omega. Remember that he does get 7% damage reduction per rainbow key sphere, in addition to the 5% that he gets per, G to G per GT bosses category ally on the team. Let's grab this. Then we'll just grab like this one right here or something. Okay,、um, Omega should be fine. Now, we don't have big bad bosses activated,、uh, but there's not really any other GT bosses that have big bad bosses other than Sin and Omega, Baby, and the Shadow Dragons. And, like the army from Battlefield.、Uh, like, there's no other. I don't think there's any other big bad bosses units. I guess, like, the SR Super 17s, you know, the ones that you get from the summons, like the, like the physical and the tech SR 17s. Ooh, that's a little bit of damage.、Uh, they have big bad bosses once you fully awaken them. Yet, for some reason, none of the other Super 17s have big bad bosses because.、Mm, explain that one to me. <laughs> Please, somebody explain that one. Okay, can we get a third super attack here? No, we get two we get two super attacks. So he's taking damage.、Um, he's still taking 136. That's, that's insane.、Uh, no super. No, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. And we are dead. Oh, three dodge.、Uh, that's actually good. We can revive with Omega.、Um, but I think I'm going to try to save it. I'm going to actually pop the item right here. And save the revive for later.、Uh, I think I'm gonna float this guy. So let's actually do this. This may seem a little bit odd, but since there's no attacks on this rotation, like we don't have to force this guy into slot one, we can kind of prioritize his links here and kind of go for damage.、Um, I didn't want to give up just because, like, these two are kind of like our main damage dealers on the team, kinda. Like, Omega eventually will become a damage dealer, but like right now, These two are going to be doing the most damage, probably, so I need to have them super attack. I can't really afford to forego this turn and just, like, not super.、Um, so let's grab those, and we can grab the seven orbs that we need for Sin right there. And then we can push the revive to next turn. 
So again, we're not going for like a no item run here because that's just not feasible for GT bosses. All we're trying to do in this run is uh, get the win. If we can get a win at all or even just get close, that'll be fine. Now, I... At some point, I may switch over to like 23rd World Tournament Goku's team. Because uh, if you guys didn't know, Omega does have a couple 200%. Um, and one of them is like 23rd World Tournament Goku's team. And he's pretty good in here. And we could build a good team with like Bulma. And um, is Beerus on that team? I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, we, we let me go ahead and show you. These are his 200% teams. So if we die with Omega's team, I'll probably switch to this guy. Uh, I, I don't know what that team build would look like. It'd have him, Bulma, Omega, and Omega actually can be a decent unit for this guy, uh, because, uh, like the revive, right? Omega, his only condition to revive is to be under 50% HP, so, like, you could potentially get the revive pretty quickly with him, and that would help this guy out, and he's probably, Omega's probably gonna be better against the AoEs than, say, like the, like this unit right here. Oh, this unit right here. So, I, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, now we have Physical Sin here. I'm gonna go ahead and float him. Where is... Okay, so the AoE isn't for a while. I kind of want to do this and try to greet out some hits in for 17. Um, he would probably just die instantly. But I'd like to get some more of these hits in. What is this guy's support? Is it GT Bosses or Shadow Dragon Saga? Uh... Oh, does he not support? Did I make that up? Defense and chance performing a critical hit plus 7% per GT bosses category outline on the team. Performs a critical hit with 7 or more key. Why did I think that this guy did support? Why, why did I think that? This guy is easy aid, right? Yeah, he's easy aid. For some reason, I thought this guy had support. I don't... Why did I think that? Also, this guy is horrible. Wow. This should have been our sign, right? Like, oh my goodness, what is... Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. This may seem really stupid, I mean, worst case scenario, we just die immediately here. Um, but I kind of want to greet out a few more hits in on Super 17, because if he's able to, okay, that's interesting. Um, that's fine. Just the more buildup that we can get on him, then, like, the tankier he'll be later. Okay, um, this is a, this is actually a good rotation, uh, because the AoE is in slot 2, so we can grab all of these orbs with Omega, Omega will be really tanky, uh, we can grab, like, these orbs with the 17s, that'll give us some healing, and all we have to do is ask them to dodge, I mean, I did give my 17s a full dodge build, by the way, if you, if you didn't, well, it's like split. It's like half dodge, half additional. Uh, but they do have a decent amount of dodge here, so... Um, hopefully they can give us some. I'll grab these for the healing. Alright. Uh, we got the revive. Uh, you know, Rage Shinron special technique. This is fine. We don't have big bad bosses activated. 219 is still a lot of damage, yeah. I mean, look, we're just... Like, in order to beat Fusion Zamasu, you got to be able to get out of this int phase quickly. Because you can kind of deal with physical Zamasu. I don't want to say he's easy, but he's, like, easier to play around. Like, a lot of the times you'll have spots where he's just not attacking and you can hide a unit. Um, his super attack has a cooldown, so you can kind of predict where it's going to be. Um, he doesn't have an AoE, so your slot 2 units aren't just going to get obliterated. Um, but yeah, Fusion Zamasu, like the int version here... I mean, he's just completely unpredictable, and he, he will just absolutely shred you. 219 was a lot from that friend Omega right there, but he is 90%, no equips, and, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, that I'm coping for? He hadn't super jet either. Low link levels, no support, I mean, I don't know. Um, so we've already popped our revive. We revived with mine, so that's good. Um, since mine's rainbowed, he'll be pumping out more damage. This guy doing damage is good. Uh, we're down to three bars left. 
We should be able to pop the active skill. No, not yet. It's not turn six. And um, we kind of just have to use the Ghost Usher again, don't we? Because Tech Sin Shinron will just die. Uh, we kept the 17s on rotation, so let's float off Super 17. Let's grab... Uh, we don't need to get the Rainbow Orbs, so we can just grab that. Remember that my Omega now is super effective against all types and is double supering. Uh, Sin here, that's good. We can get him those orbs, and then... Again, just a tiny bit more healing there. Okay. Next turn, we get access to the active skill. So if we do not KO on this turn somehow, then at least next turn, we can go ahead and hopefully, I don't know, do something with the active skill because it'll be turn six. Uh, remember, Omega Shinron's active skill condition is you either have to be on turn six or you have to have the enemy debuffed attack and defense on turn three. So that's why we can't use the active skill. So everybody take a water break. Everybody drink some water. Very nice from Texan Shinron here. Nice. Okay, so we're out of the int phase. Into the physical phase. Out, out of the frying pan, into the fryer, right? Uh, we're dead. We are dead. And no, can we fuse? Oh, man. Okay, so we have to do this. I haven't... I haven't played this in forever. Let's let's get this on camera real quick. Bro, speak up. Use your diaphragm. My goodness, Super 17. No, what the? Dang, give me a second. Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, now, the, here's the question, right? Do I use this Omega's active skill? Um, there's no real benefit to it unless we break the super attack on this turn, and I don't know that we would. Let's go ahead and grab those, because that's definitely what we're doing with Super 17. I mean, I wish I had another item here, but we don't. I if I could choose which attack to break, I would break the last one, like, obviously, for this guy. Um, I should probably make him, like, a full dodge build, but I don't plan on using him ever again after, like, this week. Um, like, if this was LR Baby instead, I would feel totally safe about this rotation. We'd have LR Baby at the end. I think he gets, like, a 50% chance to dodge after he attacks. So I would, I would feel very, very safe if this was LR Baby, but um, with this guy, I'm not so sure. Let's just hope. Can we get like four rainbow orbs? We can get three. Hmm. Let's grab those. I mean, if he supers at all on this rotation, I think we're just dead. Like, whether we tank it or not, I think we're just dead if he supers on this turn. So... I'm going to feel terrible if I click these orbs and then the first attack is a super attack. If that's the case, I'm going to feel like an idiot. That's probably what's going to happen, isn't it? Okay, that's good. 50k and then there's the super. Dude, you rat, man. Of course, of course the first attack wasn't the super. It was the second one. That way we couldn't attack break it. It doesn't matter if we tank that or not, because Physical Sin, unless he 3 dodges it, we are cooked. And we already got, like, a 3 dodge to activate, right, on the Physical Omega on, like, turn 1. No, not the cord. Hang on. Okay, we're back. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, Physical Sin's gonna get rocked. How much damage do we think he's gonna take at the end? 500k on a normal? 600k on a normal? 700k? We have a chance. He does have 3 dodge, but... I, I don't know. Maybe I should have brought the physical Frieza there instead. I only brought that physical sin because for some reason, in the back of my mind, I thought he was supporting, like, GT bosses or Shadow Dragon Saga or something. And he's not. I don't know who I was thinking of. Yeah, I, like, in the back of my mind, I always thought that this guy was supporting yeah, 600k. Whoo! Okay, we'll be back. Maybe we'll give it a GT bosses another run here. I mean, we got the physical Zamasu, kinda. Eh. 
All right, we're hopping back in here. Uh, let's see what our opening rotations look like. We got the friend Omega, the physical Omega again, and the physical. So I decided to f swap in the physical Frieza because he's at least... I don't know. <laughs> I at least have a full dodge build on him, I guess. Um, mm, rainbow orbs aren't great. Let's grab those. Let's grab this. Frieza should be fine in that second slot. The AoE is going to do some damage to us, but, I mean, that's Fusion Zamasu, right? Um, by the way, I am not going to be doing, like, Omega versus Omega. Um, I'm not going to be doing that as a video because I did a couple test runs uh, at, like, lunch. And the average turn I got to STR Omega was turn 10. STR Omega on turn 10. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I will, uh, I will not be doing the Omega event with the GT bosses team. I might take Omega in there on a different team. Maybe I'll think about it, but I'm going to do some other showcases against Omega first. So I think what I'm going to do for the next couple of days, because content's going to be dry for a while. Um, and I don't want to like, I can use Omega right now. Uh, this might kill us. Not quite, okay. Um, but, like, I can use Omega right now. Uh, what, what am I trying to say? But, like, we're not gonna get, like, the full, like, look at Omega until we start using him with Baby. So, yeah. You get, you guys get what I'm getting at? Like, Baby's gonna bring out the full power of the GT bosses team. So, I don't really want to, uh, like, do many showcases on this team without Baby. Just because, I mean, he's going to be, like, a critical part of this team. Uh, I think I'll do this. Do I use my first Ghost Usher? That is the question. I think I do. Maybe this is a mistake. Maybe I should have died on this turn and revived with my Omega. Because now we're just going to revive on the next turn with a friend Omega. But maybe that's okay. I don't know. I don't know that there's a right or wrong answer here. I just know that I need the damage from these two units because they're going to carry the damage here. That's all I really know. Um, I don't know why I'm leaving this guy on rotation, but... I don't know. We'll make it work. Yeah, 6.2 from Omega. Like, Omega is good defensively, but there is nobody on the GT bosses team that is good at damage. Omega, after he revives, is decent. And after he does, like, his eight attacks is pretty good. But uh, it takes a long time to get to that point. And uh, a thing you do not have with the GT bosses team is time. So that is uh, kind of an issue, kind of an issue here. Um, let me know if you guys have... Hopefully you haven't used Omega. Um, because hopefully you didn't summon for him. I know it's kind of tantalizing, like, mm, get your lips wet, looking at, like, Goku and Gohan on there. Uh, but like I told people on stream, Goku and Gohan aren't going to help you out as much as you think they are. Uh, because they're not, uh, they're not rainbowed. Like, if you're just getting one copy, they're going to be okay. But they're not going to be, like, the killer that you see in other people's videos. Like, you guys have seen my videos. Or maybe this is your first video. In which case, hello. I'm surprised you're 18 minutes into one of my videos, but... For the first time. You know, usually it takes people, you know, they gotta warm up to me a little bit here. Um, but if you guys have seen my videos, you know that Carnival Goku can take some damage sometimes. And he's at a Rainbow Level 10 Link uh, build. with like er, He's at Rainbow Level 10 Links with like a defensive build. So, so like if he's taking damage, 55% Goku is gonna be taking like obviously more. So that's kind of the illusion, right? It's like, oh, I could summon and get this character who's really good. It's like, well, yeah, they're really good at the Rainbow Level. And it's going to take you a lot of stones to be able to get them to that point, or you're going to have to burn coins. And I never recommend burning coins on dupes, unless you're like a super whale, like me. So like whenever Super Trunks comes back around, that's who I'll like use coins on. Um, I probably should have only gone for two dupes with Omega, but we got them to 90%, and I just, I can't leave a unit at 90%. That's part of like my internal code. It's a dumb code, but it's just like how I operate.
Okay, so we revived with the friend Omega. Oh, wow, we actually got really good AoE placements, so we don't need to... We don't need to use the Ghost Usher on this turn. I mean, we could, but we don't need to. This is great. Four Rainbow Key Spheres means that he's at, what, 63% damage reduction right there? We can get seven with this guy. And um, Physical Omega should be tanking a little bit better here. Um... He should be pretty much at double digits from the normals, which is nice. I think even before he attacks, just because uh, the Omegas have, like, very powerful links with other Shadow Dragon units. Like, they have the Shadow Dragon link, GT, and Big Bad Bosses, usually. Those three links are a lot of stats, uh, attack and defense-wise. So, Physical Omega, I think up to this point, we've only seen him linked with, like, GT active. So, since he's next to Tex Sin right here, he's going to be a little bit tankier. I think we also got some build-up for him on turn one. So, we, we've got some build-up in. Getting multiple super attacks here is good, because uh, Zamasu hasn't supered yet. And if he supered this guy, I think it's just a one-shot. Alright, man, come on. What a troll, Zamasu. Like, relax, Zamasu. It's GT bosses, man. Uh, do we go again? I mean, you guys have seen. Like, Omega is fine in here. It's just his team around him, which... I mean, it's even worse than, like, Kale. Uh, is it? Kinda. Um. Yeah, give me a... We'll do one more team. Alright, we're hopping in here onto the 23rd World Tournament Goku team. Uh, just to see how he does. Now, what? Hang on, I set this to... Is Goku's leader skill not... Oh, it's powerful comeback. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, <sighs> hmm. You guys like this uh, double leader rotation? It's pretty good, right? I didn't. Okay. Um, we gotta get Omega as many rainbow orbs as possible these days, uh, because um. We have no other GT bosses on the team, so... This is the issue with Omega, right? He gets so much key, he gets so many links. Like, it's not even just about, like, his damage reduction. Like, he gets key. He, it's his links, like... I don't know. Like, Omega definitely doesn't fit on this team. Uh, he's not gonna look good on this team. I don't know why I brought him here. I really wish we had baby. That'd be nice. You know what? I could have... I, I could have done the GT duo team. Because then I could have gotten, like, Beerus on the team. And the Super 17s. That's what I thought. I forgot that Goku was powerful comeback and not Battle of Fate. I, I thought he was Earth Red Fighters and Battle of Fate is what I thought his leader skill was. So that's why I built the team that I did. Um, but here we are. I guess Omega's doing fine. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. I'm just like seething about the uh, about the last run. My bad, guys. Like, l listen, we're like 23 minutes into this video, almost 24, uh, and I just like, where am I supposed to use them? We got his, and then we got these four. Like, do I do I bring him on Kale's team? Because like he needs, he needs this. Oh, that's good. That's a good. Twenty third world tournament Goku. Thank you. We got to take damage on this turn somehow. So I may like avoid God Goku's orbs. I can't. Okay, that's great. Um, let's do this. Let's grab all of these with future Gohan. I want to get three. Nope. Nope. Well, alright. I was going to try to get three orbs with him. That way, uh, you know, we would have his dodge but not his guard. So potentially we could take a little bit more damage. That's good. Because we need to, we need to revive next turn. So we have to be under 50% HP next turn, otherwise we lose. 
Because we, we have to revive with Omega next turn. That way the 23rd World Tournament Gokus are good, right? But yeah, no, he needs he needs this right here. He needs this. And he needs these. 20% attack and defense. 25% attack and defense. 10% attack and defense and two key. He's got to have these. He is balanced around having these. But unfortunately, um, none of these guys are good in here. He's kind of decent, maybe, sort of, kind of. But I don't know what team you're going to run them on that they're on together. Transformation boost. Kale's team, I guess. They're pretty good, but they're susceptible to AoEs. This guy sucks. You know what's crazy? They share big bad bosses with these guys, but, uh... Not, uh... What, what do I even say about that, man? Alright, we can revive. That's good. Um, we kind of have to. So... It's Omega's Showcase. Who do I have coming onto this rotation? Carnival Goku. It doesn't really matter who we have him linked up with. He's just going to share Fierce Battle with everybody. Let's throw him in slot one. We'll give him all of these. We'll give Bulma these. And then hopefully 23rd World Tournament Goku's not guarding. Uh, and we should die. Let's see. Omega's still taking a little bit of damage here, so that's fine. If he wants to get super attacked... Really, so long as we eat... So long as we eat the super attack on whoever it's on... Well, Omega post super attack might actually be okay. I don't know, man. I... <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone so crazy with Omega's orbs. Because we have to die here. Yeah, Omega's gonna tank this decently well. Was Goku... No, we don't know because he dodged. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's good. That puts our that now we're actually set up to win. I can be a little bit more positive here. Um This is gonna sound crazy probably. I'm gonna float future Gohan. That way we can delay his domain as much as possible. Let's grab these orbs right there. Uh, we can get these with God Goku. All right, listen, now we got a showcase. Okay, so Omega's revived, so now he's super effective against all types, and he double supers. Uh, we still have his rainbow orb changing, I believe, for uh, seven turns. Well, up until turn seven, because we had him on turn one. So, until turn nine is when we'll have his uh, rainbow orb changing, so that's good. We have Bulma on rotation now, uh, who's going to be helping him with the rainbow orbs as well. And the support, they'll share fierce battle and legendary power. It's not great, but it's better than nothing, and she supports, so... All right, listen, all right, we're back in the game now. I'm rejuvenated. We got 23rd World Tournament Goku God Mode out here. We got God Goku out here. We got Future Gohan. Uh, it's it's good. We got the win in the bag now. And, like, Omega actually did provide value to us on this team. I think he's actually safer to run in this fight overall, at least in the beginning part against uh, the Infusions of Masu. I think Omega is safer to run in here, even just like we're running it like this, than the GT Duo. Uh, because he's not going to take 400k from the AoEs, right? Like, which is a big detriment for them. And a lot of the times I've had them sell on their first turn where they do, like, two super attacks, right? Like, you know, you get them to 24 key, they do their they do their super attack at 24 key, then they fail the 70% chance, and then they do the guaranteed uh, other one, right? Like, they do the guaranteed one, and then they don't do the hidden potential one, and so you just do two super attacks and they die. I've had that happen quite a bit, so... Alright, let's throw Bulma in slot 1. Um, we'll keep Omega in slot 2. Again, we're not really getting much here, but uh, we'll, you know, work around it. We should still be able to get 4 rainbow orbs over here. Oh, we can get... Yeah, 4. 4 is fine. Can we get 5 anywhere? No. So let's just grab those. Uh, 4 rainbow orbs gets him 28% damage reduction. He gets 50% defense on his 18 key, and then 30% on his uh, 12 key. So, after he super attacks, let's just say we do two super attacks. We're at 309, 719, times 1.8. 
Uh, so he's going to be at about 557k defense here with 28% damage reduction. That should be enough for the normals, uh, but it's not going to be enough for, like, the uh, super attack. So, I mean, we could dodge. I do have a full dodge build on my Omega. Um, so we'll see. Obviously, he would be much better if we had, um, like, his, you know, major links activated. I mean, even if we just had big bad bosses, I think, like, we could just directly multiply that by 1.25. And we would be at 700k defense, like, post-super attack, right? So, clearly, we're missing out on a lot by not even having another big bad bosses unit around him. But I, you know, I, I don't know who we're supposed to bring. Earthbred Fighters and Powerful Comeback. Like, who's on Powerful Comeback that I could have brought that's a big bad bosses unit? Like, Metal Cooler? Um, is that it? Metal Cooler? Is he the only big bad bosses Powerful Comeback unit? I am I forgetting someone? This is a really tiny category. I'm looking at it. Behind the curtain right here. Yeah, it's just him. I think. Is he the only... Like, they're extreme, but they're not big bad bosses. Is there anybody else that I'm forgetting? We got him. Him. Where'd he go? Them. So we got those three. Please don't eat a super attack. That's a good dodge. Oh, you better dodge this. This is a fitting end to the showcase. How much does he take here? 773. <laughs> if we have big bad bosses, we survive that. Well, I think that's going to be it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any other recommendations for a team I should run with him. Uh... Let's drink some water. Let's drink some water. Did you guys drink water? I hope you did. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, honestly, he did pretty okay in here. And we got so unlucky that the super attack was in slot two. But that is the way it goes. So on to the next video.